I dreamed I saw Duke Ellington, alive as you or me, in his private rail car on a siding near Ivon Street. Hey, Duke, what'd you find, I asked, when you came to Oregon? A warm valley, he answered, and people who opened their hearts to me. And so every time I pass those old Pullman cars on a siding in Portland today, I remember all the times Duke was in a dangerous Oregon country and the beauty in the song, Warm Valley. His reverie of ease inspired by this landscape. In 1934, he was traveling like the president, he said, in two private sleepers and a 70-foot baggage car, rented to tour with dignity, a country segregated by race. We commanded respect, he said, 20 black men in private rail cars just like the president. And heading out of town in his private rail car along the Willamette, Duke gazed at foothills and saw a woman reclining there free and easy. Her warm valley so welcoming, he said, that he wrote with music sketched the contours of her body in sound. In Spanish, they translate the title Valle Amoroso, Valley of Love, where he dreamed the sound of a woman's body. Duke free to dream, private man in the majesty of a private car, traveling like the president and thinking of music only. So those three Pullman cars on a siding in Portland today evoke dreams of Duke Ellington, welcomed here by the community, sitting in with locals and playing McElroy's Ballroom on his birthday. The Duke Ellington Orchestra in town with dancer Ann Henry. And Duke played the music Henry wrote when he returned to Willamette Valley foothills for the last time in 1970. And he didn't need a private car to be treated like the president. Because Ann Henry, who once traveled with Duke and become a Broadway star, had come back to Portland to compose music for Duke to play at Mount Angel Abbey when he could enter in safety those foothills that had inspired him to sketch in sound the contours of a woman. Warm Valley, his reverie of beauty and ease in a dangerous country like soft afternoon light through windows of a private rail car. Just like those on a siding here today, evoking dreams of Duke Ellington, looking at the Cascades, thinking of music only, and cloaked in majesty.